how do you describe your two year tenure and how was your interaction with the chief minister in the last two years chief minister yeah it was a very friend that, that's what i already told and um, i always say it is not a uh, fondling nor fight i <laughs> fondling or fighting uh, it's it's a, it's a clear demarcation between a governor and the chief minister and the relationship is good there is no any uh, controversies or contradictions and uh, uh, as i said what all i want to convey to the chief minister i have conveyed and particularly aishman bharat firstly there was a difference of opinion about the aishman bharat and uh, the state government always conveyed that arogya shri is better than the aishman bharat but i convey to the chief minister chief minister if you uh, actually uh, adopt aishman bharat people from different states can come and get their uh, uh, treatment in hyderabad because hyderabad is the uh, medical hub pharma hub because aishman we are not adopting aishman bharat our people are unable to go and get the expert uh, uh, higher treatment in different states and other state people are unable to come and get our so our facilities to be used by our people as well as from the people from different states so he understood it and then he uh, announced that governor garu uh, actually appealed that the, when we incorporate both cms and pms is as it is in tamil nadu it will, it will be more uh, beneficial to the people of telangana so he uh, accepted it so such things i was able to convince him and i all i, I always think that uh, you know that uh, uh, it's a regional party and basically uh, i am from a, a different party now i cannot say i am a party person i am constitutional head but i my base is different so always it is difficult to be a governor of a, a different party we, we, uh, apart from the base which we came but i think i have maintained the balance and i think chief minister also responded positively for most of my uh, appeals that appeals always he thinks it it will be uh, for the people for example when i wanted to go to the tribal village and uh, the tribal minister came and when i wanted to uh, improve some of the educational aspects of this country of the state higher education uh, education minister education secretaries attended the meeting so i take it in a positive way and it's always a positive relationship i should say that madam uh, there is a file pending with you after the cabinet had cleared the name of a, a leader for for appointment as uh, your governor's quota yeah i expected this question <laughs> and uh, Uh, actually it's it's uh, it's correct that cabinet has cleared but i have not cleared it that is the answer why means uh, it is uh, it is for the upper house and the category is uh, in the social service category and it is the governor's nomination because it is gov mlc you know if it is other uh, thing there is no any problem because it is governor's nomination i need some time uh, to study the nomination uh, so i can take some time i think that's uh, that's it because it is governor's nomination i want to be doubly sure about uh, the nominee and the nominations and i want to clear certain things but in the previous three names you said that yeah yeah that's it uh, because uh, i should say uh, one among them was uh, a literary person it is under the literary category and i thought it is really uh, uh, immediately uh, it fulfilled my expectations and uh, no no i don't think that i don't have a different opinion but uh, the category to social service category and it is governor's nomination i think i can take some time as it is said i am not delaying always so that ah uh, not i i am i am taking some time it's not objection i am studying the matter that's all I think I can take some more time also. <laughs> Malish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anybody can predict in any way. Any can. Anybody can interpret in any way. But it is governor nomination as a governor. I need some more time. That is my. <laughs> no, no. What I say because uh, uh, when we when. 
I cannot say very. I am studying the uh, nomination, and Bassett is said. Uh, I am not delaying. Uh, first, I cleared with, uh, some three of the nominations, so then I had a very clear bio data and everything. This is also clear. Pre when uh, uh, this uh, cabinet has cleared it, there is no any uh, problem. Cabinet has endorsed it. But I need some more time because, I, as I said, it is in the social service activity uh, category. So I want to compare certain things. So it's whether uh, what all the social service activities by him will fit into this category. So these all things I, I need some more time. <laughs> other other state yes. problem yes. I don't know, but this I need some more time. That is, I think I have the right to take some more time also. Madam, firstly congratulations for completing two years term. Madam, you are the one of the member of honourable president appoints a governor committee. You also submitted a, one report on this. What are the findings, madam? What are the reforms you can choose there? I cannot understand. Governor's committee, madam. Uh, governor's committee, honorable president to appoint a governor's committee on yeah, last reforms. Day, during our conference, governor's committee, that is for the conference. And we studied, I, I, actually I was, I was posted in the category of, uh, uh, in the agriculture category. So we studied about the uh, uh, organic farming and all the uh, uh, innovations in the farm sector and everything we have submitted it. And I am very proud that uh, Telangana is the rice bowl of the country and we are cultivating more crops. So we, with, uh, we could project ourselves in a very uh, proud manner about the agricultural patterns in our state. Okay, we will close this, one, this session here. And now I request all of you to join for lunch. Everybody should join us for lunch. Wanted to? Tell me. Second year, slow down your activities. Second year? If we compare with the, your first year in office, uh -huh. your activities are very high. In, in second year, if compared with the first year, your activities are slowed down. What is the reason, <laughs> madam? I, I didn't think like that. Yeah, I didn't think like that. Because of the pandemic situation, we were unable to go out. Uh, for example, as you said, uh, in the first three months, I was able to attend more programs outside. But uh, exactly in September, I took over. And January, February, five months, I, I, I would have attended each and every day one program. So that added volume of my action. But apart from that, in the pandemic, uh, the rest of the first year also, the rest of the second year, also almost the same. No, not, I, I should say to you, not even a single day without activity. If I am in Puducherry, definitely I will connect with the uh, office of the Telangana Raj Bhavan. And uh, another thing, I have to say that, I am uh, justified in my duties approximately Monday, Tuesday because my responsibilities are more there as a Lieutenant Governor. Decisions are taken on my advice and I have to endorse each and every file. And uh, when compared with the Governor and the Lieutenant Governor, Lieutenant Governor's responsibility is more. And uh, I can take some decisions than uh, compared to gov as a Governor. So immediately when I went there, I uh, uh, slashed the price of petrol diesel. First state to slash the petrol diesel price, 2% uh, back, bad reduction was there and then improved the uh, quality of the food uh, for the Anganwadi children. Uh, they were given one egg to the Anganwadi children. Immediately I made it three. So my responsibility was more there. And apart from that, every day I interact with them when I come here. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I am in Puducherry. Thursday I travel and all the final three days are I am in uh, uh, Telangana. So my presence also very equally distributed I should say. My time concentration is 100% distributed uh, both with Telangana and Puducherry. And uh, I, I, I think that I, I have not reduced my activity but as it is said, first five months outside programs were more. 
So every day, sometimes two to three programs I was attending. So that added volume. That's all I can say. I, I think that with the book volume is telling. <laughs> madam, <laughs> Madam, many allegations in about private universities in Telangana and ruling party leaders established private universities. At the same time, in government universities, lack of faculty and funds and uh, many problems facing in government universities. Yeah, no, no, now actually... As a chancellor, what is the, your opinion on private universities in Telangana? Private universities, actually, I can say about the, our government universities, 14 universities, uh, actually, now only uh, full-fledged vice-chancellors have been appointed. So, they are full-fledged. We have uh, actually organized two to three uh, video interactions with all the uh, uh, vice-chancellors. So, we are moving in a right track, that's all I can say, in higher education and in all uh, aspects. Thank you so much.